Here's everything I ate in a day in the Loire Valley. It's day three of our honeymoon in France. And guys, you will not believe what we found today on the grounds of the most beautiful castle I've ever seen in my life. But let's rewind. We woke up at the stunning Chateau Nazelle Negron. We headed straight for the breakfast room for a stunning spread of locally sourced goodies. They had homemade jam, homemade granola, even honey from their hives. There was also a selection of bread and pastries, which were sourced from the village boulangerie, plus eggs and yogurt from a local farm. How good. First activity for the morning was visiting Burgard's Castle. The highlight of this place was definitely the room that was filled with portraits of celebrities' dogs. Annoyingly, we were in a bit of a rush for lunch, so we ended up just going to like a quick service restaurant. The nice thing in France is even the food at these kind of places is actually done well. I got this Greek salad grain bowl, and honestly, it was quite nice to have something a bit lighter and fresher after all the heavy French food. After lunch, we headed to Chambord Castle. And I know I keep saying it, but... This place is a real life fairy tale. Like, look at this castle. Okay, but the best part was on the castle site, we found this place that did automatic wine tasting. So you pay four euros and then they give you this card and you can choose whatever wine you want to taste from their selection. I don't know why, this was just such a fun novelty and I kind of enjoyed getting to do like a self guided wine tasting. Also, you get to keep the glass at the end, so quite a bargain for four euros. We then drove on to our next accommodation, which was this beautiful hotel set on a huge property in the middle of the countryside. This is yet another chateau that's been converted into accommodation. Everywhere we stayed so far has been so unique and had so much character. For dinner, we headed into Blois to this tiny restaurant that was just packed out with locals. The staff here was so, so lovely. They brought us out some tapenade and some gazpacho to begin the meal. To drink, I got a Cur Royale and champagne and cassis is such an elite combo. For my starter, I ended up getting another gazpacho. This one was made with melon, lime and goat's cheese, which was such an interesting combination. It was refreshing and rather the sweet almost felt like dessert. For my main, I got the rack of pork, which was topped with this super hearty and flavorful lard gravy. The meat had been really nicely cooked, as had all the vegetables that went alongside. For dessert, I got this delectable almond tart. It was topped with nice fresh berries and accompanied by this super creamy strawberry ice cream. I think this was the best dessert I've had on the trip so far. After dinner, we headed to the Chateau Royal de Blois. We were here to see the sound and light show, which was all in French, so we had no idea what was going on. But you know what? It was still really, really really cool to watch. Okay, fast forward to the next morning and the hotel breakfast was set in the most beautiful breakfast room I've ever seen. It was also such a good breakfast. I had a croissant filled with cured ham and cheese, this super creamy and zesty lemon yogurt, coffee, obviously, and then some scrambled eggs on baguette, which is genuinely one of my favorite breakfasts in the whole wide world. This property is absolutely massive and we didn't get to see much the day before, so we spent the morning exploring. Favorite part was the farm area. There was chickens and horses and these silly little goats. Look at them, they're so cute. And they also have a whole lake with rowboats that you can use. So we had a little notebook moment. I was really bad at rowing. So basically just got James to row me around. It was very sad to say goodbye to this beautiful place, but we had to make our way to Paris because the next day we're flying out to a very exciting destination.